When it comes to deck boxes for your Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other trading card games, there is an ever-growing selection for you to store your collection. Many different companies make many different kinds of deck boxes, and thus determining which product is right for you and your needs isn't always an easy decision. That's why this video will critically examine the Ice Tower by Ultra Pro, the Commander LT by BCW, the Panther on deck box by Card Guardian, the new Wormwood Sentinel, which includes optional Bluetooth tracking and security, and finally the handcrafted wooden deck boxes of Crossbow Gaming. With so many choices, some are better than others, sometimes by a lot. Let's take a look! The Ice Tower by Ultra Pro offers 7mm thick acrylic walls. Right away, I liked the thickness of this thing. It feels like a solid brick, and I mean that in a good way. The deck box itself is clear acrylic, and the Ultra Pro logo is thankfully small and non-obtrusive. The box holds slightly over 100 double-sleeved cards. There's some noticeable blemishes on the box. These were visible in both the samples I purchased, albeit in different areas. It's nothing big, but it is worth noting. Minor flecks and discolorations along the seams, possibly a result of welding all the sides together, I'm not sure. It's visible, but it's no big problem. What is a big problem is the fact the lid to this thing does not stay on. There is literally no latch, no strap, no form of attachment whatsoever. The top just sits on top, and all I need do is turn it upside down for it to fall right off. Every time I tossed this in my backpack to go down to my local game store, by the time I got there the lid was off and my cards were everywhere. The price is, yikes, $29.99, considering Ultra Pro also makes the excellent Satin Tower, a solid, enthusiastic A grade, and that that product only costs $9.99, I simply do not understand what the goal is here. Sorry, but this is a solid D. An MSRP of $29.99 is, quite frankly, laughable. Next we have the Commander LT from BCW. As the name implies, this was designed with Commander and mind, and can hold 100 double-sleeved cards. The exterior is a brown faux leather with stitching along the sides. The interior has two trays, one for your deck and the other for holding dice and counters. There's a kind of microfiber lining on the interior. It's acceptable, nothing particularly impressive or terrible about it, and it has a fairly strong magnetic closure as well. What isn't acceptable, however, is the low quality of glue job that attempts to hold this deck box together. The edges caught very easily on the interior of my backpack, and immediately I saw them peeling away. Look here. And now watch this. This happened while filming and unintentionally. I had just intended to apply a little stress to the corners to help show how they were starting to peel away, and then, uh-oh, the entire thing fell apart in my hands. I want to stress this was very minimal pressure applied by me. I would not even call it one of my stress tests. With a nearly $30 price tag, I would expect something like this to be better constructed. Fake leather and fake stitching, with thin cardboard and light glue. The grade on this is a D. The new Pantheon deck box from Card Guardian is laser forged from strong cast acrylic. At first, I thought this was a simple two piece box, but there's actually a lot going on here, the least of which are the magnets that not only hold the Pantheon together, but help it snap tight. This is a very solid, super solid, and durable box, and it holds 75 double sleeved cards. Laser engraving is apparently available, but that is in addition to the rather intrusive logo, not in lieu of it, which is unfortunate. 
This deck box is really, really solid, really, really sturdy. It would take an enormous amount of pressure on it to give it so much as a scratch. But what really impresses me are the magnets that hold the two pieces together. In fact, when you are placing the bottom compartment up into the top, the magnets actually at one point kind of suck and pull the bottom into the top, holding it securely. Now you can see right here, I have a 75 card double sleeved deck inside of the box. This bottom part is not being held by me in any way. And this is not, I don't even need to put my hand under it. This is not going to come out with this level of shaking. Now a harder level of shaking will cause it to fall out, observe. It, it will. Come on, there we go. Uh, but this will take an enormous amount of pressure in order to get it to come out. It's not gonna come tumbling out very likely in your backpack. It can be tossed around. If somebody sits on or even steps upon this deck box, it's going to protect your cards just fine. In fact, better than fine. I really wish this was available in larger sizes, specifically in the 100 card double sleeved size. Other colors would certainly be nice. And I wish we could get this logo off of the front and replace it with anything of our choice or nothing at all. But those are minor issues. Hopefully we will see a larger size deck box coming from Card Guardian in the not too distant future. Holds 75 double sleeved cards and the MSRP is $24.99. I like this a lot, it's impressive. And the grade is a B plus. Currently largely only available for online ordering. A link is included in this video's description. Wormwood, makers of the excellent quality craftsman deck boxes and dice vaults have expanded their line with the new Wormwood Sentinel. The Sentinel features a magnetically detachable bottom compartment, which stores an ample supply of dice encounters. It also comes with a bevy of customization options, from text engraving to wood dividers to security features, available in more woods than I could possibly list. The Sentinel starts at about $75, depending upon wood selection, and goes up from there. The box holds 100 double-sleeved cards and is secured with a leather-strapped lid that buckles onto the side. An option added to this design is a hidden bottom compartment that comes with a tile Bluetooth location and detection chip. The tile allows you to track your deck box on your phone and even have it emit a noise to help you find it if it becomes lost or stolen. And so once you open the bottom compartment, you see that the tile is placed in there. Now, if you have another Bluetooth or GPS chip that you prefer, that can be obviously placed in this bottom compartment as well. You're not obligated to use the tile, it's just what Wormwood includes. I have two major problems with the tile. The first is that since it is only Bluetooth, it has what I feel is a very limited range. And then in the likelihood of a theft, you're not gonna be able to track this across town to the thieves' house. But the other issue I have is one for that immediate moment when you notice your deck box is gone in a GP convention hall or maybe a particularly crowded card shop. You take out your phone, you activate your phone, and activate the tile, but the noise that it emits is not particularly loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate the tile inside this Sentinel to give you a bit of an idea about just how loud it is. Now I've just pressed the activation. As you can see, it hasn't yet activated. Uh, it's having some issues. Oop, there we go. Did you hear that? I barely did. I'll try again. And as you can see, it's not responding very quickly. Come on. This isn't even the problem that I wanted to show you. Okay, I think I've got it here. So see how loud or not so loud it is. I can't get this thing to ring. Why can't I make this thing make noise? Make noise! Okay, got it ringing. Now. It stopped. Okay, so it's ringing when you put 
the lid on the bottom compartment on. It's obviously going to be muffled somewhat, and then of course even more with the dice compartment on. Now imagine though that this has been grabbed and placed in a backpack. This is sitting in my lap and I can barely hear it. In a crowded, noisy convention hall, not a chance. And let me just take it across the room. It's 10 feet from me now, and if I strain in this silent basement office, I can hear it in my backpack. But in a GP convention hall, crowded game store, I don't think it's reasonable that anyone grabbing your deck box and shoving it in their backpack and running away, by the time you activate your phone, you'll be able to hear this. I do want to stress that the quality of Wormwood craftsmanship is, as always, excellent, but the tile is far from that. In addition to the wide variety of woods available, there's a huge host of customization options available, adding a window for viewing your commander or the art of whatever card is in front, text engraving on the main compartment, dice compartment, or even the inside lid. And like all Wormwood's products, it comes with their craftsman's guarantee that they will refund or replace their product if you are ever unsatisfied. You can even get leather profiling done to the strap. As usual, the Wormwood craftsmanship gives the Sentinel deck box a solid A. However, the Tile Bluetooth locator system is a C at best. I'm not a fan of the Tile system, and I cannot imagine in any real incident of theft it would aid in any way in the recovery of your box. However, I can see certain players viewing this as a positive, so the option is there should you be one of those players. I feel there has got to be a better type of tracking and location system out there, if one is even needed at all. Finally, we have the handcrafted wooden deck boxes of Crossbow Gaming. Designed to offer the maximum protection for your cards, these act as a kind of deck-sized humidor, and will help to keep excessive moisture away from your cards. The wood naturally regulates the temperature of the contents, and helps maintain a constant humidity level to best preserve your investment. The box is beautiful simplicity. Made from monkey pod, hard maple, and aromatic seed with deep browns and blacks streaked along the grain. Holds slightly over 100 double-sleeved cards with an optional wooden insert, and depending upon your selections will range anywhere between $100 and $120. These boxes are so beautiful and just expertly designed. One thing that strikes me is the fact that, ooh, what a snap. I can slam this closed and it never once will catch on the cards. I had constant problems with something like the Ultra Pro Ice with it snagging the ends of the cards if they weren't in there just right. But this has been made with the utmost care. The hinges and the latch are not cheap materials. They are not gonna snap off on you. And of course, there is no chance of this coming undone in any capacity in your backpack or in transport. Yes, price is high, but you get what you pay for. And in terms of form, function, and overall quality, the grade here is a solid A. See the link in the description for ordering information. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a comment. And remember, a list of all grades for all products that I have reviewed will soon, very soon, be available available at TalarianCommunityCollege.com. Soon, I promise. So be sure to give a visit and check it out.